Soon after Ron Krajewski and his wife adopted their horse Metro, they discovered he had a terminal condition. They didn't expect the former racehorse to live much longer. They also never could have predicted that Metro had a hidden talent that would change everything. Ron, an artist himself, decided to teach his ailing horse his favorite pastime, painting. This new hobby not only created a stronger bond between horse and owner, but Metro's paintings have also funded expensive experimental medical treatments that saved his life. Metro, he grew up a racehorse. He raced for three or four years of, of his life up around Belmont and uh, Saratoga, and he was a very good racehorse in his day. He was one of the fastest turf sprinters on the East Coast, uh, won $300,000 of purses, eight races. Uh, towards the end of his career, his knees started going downhill, and he ended up at the uh, Penn National Racecourse up here close to us. So they were looking for a home for him and we kind of stepped up and, and gave him a home. Never had a horse before and Metro is a very difficult horse. He's always bobbing his head. He's always looking for attention. He's got a big ego. He's got to be the center of attention all the time. So he'll hang his head out of his stall and he'll bob it up and down. Some horses do it as a nervous condition. Metro does it just to get your attention or to protest something. And the first time he did that was like one of the very first days and it's just kind of a glancing thought. I looked at him bobbing his head and the artist in me said, if I ever get a paintbrush in that mouth, then we could probably paint some houses together or something. But then as the years went by and his knees started getting worse, and the vet told us that uh, we couldn't ride him anymore, that his riding days were done, thought, well, I just don't want to turn him out to pasture and forget about him, you know, and just wait for his knees to lock up and we have to put him down. I wanted to spend time with him. I said, well, if I can't ride him, maybe I can teach him to do what I do. Maybe I can teach him to hold that paintbrush now. Luckily, he took right to it. I was surprised. He, it's like he kind of knew this is what my job is from now on, and it was very easy to teach the paint. Metro's paintings are all about color and texture. You've got all these little broken pieces of color in his paintings, and that's kind of like humans think too much. They want everything to be perfect when they put down a brush stroke. Metro just paints. So he gets these brush strokes that are just really thick and juicy and broken. And it just it really creates a neat effect when you when you get a, several layers of this built up. Metro is he just paints just for the fun of it. He doesn't he doesn't have any thought process. I, I kind of I choose the colors. I will choose you know say when the session's done or when the painting's done. He does all the brushwork. I pick the colors. I load the brush for him. I hand him the brush and he and he paints. When the 
vet told us that he was done riding. The, the reason was is because his he was getting bone growth in his knees. His prognosis was that his knees were just going to lock up. The, 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 the gaps in his knees were going to be covered in bone. And one day, it was he was just going to lay down in the field. And he wasn't going to be able, able to be sta to stand up on his own again. And then, if that happened, there's not much we could do for him except have to euthanize him. I started treating Metro about four years ago. Uh, we started with injections straight into his knee. Those were usually comprised of like a steroid, antibiotic, and then a hyaluronic acid component to help lubricate the joint so he could move better. Um, initial treatment with those did provide him with some relief, but they started proving less and less effective with each treatment. And I'm just going to give him a couple minutes. And At that point, you know, the Krajewski said, do what you can, make him as comfortable as possible. We weren't even thinking he was going to be rideable ever again. It was more just comfort for being out in the field and so he could be a horse and do normal horse activities and they agreed to let me try an experimental therapy and that was Tildren. Actually, it was the money raised from his paintings that um, allowed him to purchase Tildren for him. With these treatments, we've gone from having discussions about euthanasia to no, you can even take him out on rides again. And so it really not only has it improved his quality of life, but it's also bought him more years of life. The paintings, we just started out looking for something fun to do together. And when the paintings started looking nice, I was like, maybe we could sell some of these, pay for the vet bills, find a treatment, find a cure for his knees, and then he just kind of took off. He got popular. We couldn't paint enough to, to keep up with the demand of the people who wanted paintings. And it kind of turned into a whole, he's not just helping himself with the vet bills. We could help other horses with this. And then we started giving 50% away to uh, New Vocations Racehorse Adoption Program. So now he's actually helping other horses besides helping himself. Gallery 30 has been here 36 years. He is our number one selling artist and has been since he came into the gallery a year and a half ago. In the little over the year that we have been doing it, he's probably sold about $120,000 worth of art. So we've donated about $60,000 of that to help other racehorses get rehabilitation and training and find homes. Metro is an artist because most artists paint because they love to paint. But there can be other reasons. For him, there can't be any other reason. It's not something that he's thought out, oh, I can make $600 on this painting. He paints just from the sheer joy of painting. He loves to paint. You couldn't make an animal do this. Everybody loves an underdog, everybody loves a happy ending, and uh, Metro's got a story to tell, and it, it was a tough story for a while. But uh, now he's put it all together, and I mean, how many horses do you know that saved their own life from painting? That's it for this week. Join the conversation with us on social media. We are CCTV America on Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube. All of tonight's interviews can be found online at cctv-america.com.